Hey there, we're going to be playing some Halo 5 and I'm going to do really bad because people who still play Halo 5 haven't stopped playing Halo 5 since its release. But we're going to be playing and talking and just talking about Halo Infinite. I was going to download the trailer and just talk over it, but you know, I'd rather just play some Halo 5, lose a game and yeah. Anyway, just go from there. Uh, so let's get into it. What we know about Halo Infinite so far is that there's going to be a beta releasing sometime near the end of the summer. So hopefully soon ish uh i hope to get in the flight and i hope we can uh make content i hope we're allowed to make content because i'm going to be streaming the hell out of that on twitch.tv slash twitterism you should go follow me it's uh right there <sighs> there's a popping noise and uh yeah we'll probably make some uh uh videos on it too so we can get the 4k goodness this video is actually in 4k this is probably kind of like a test video to see if i can actually do it and uh, if it looks great, hey, let me know in the comments. That's great. The graphics from what we saw in the multiplayer trailer and the, uh, the graphics have improved quite a bit. They also showed off a little bit of the campaign going up a mountain with a bunch of like outposts and whatnot. There was absolutely no popping like there was in the reveal in 2020. Hopefully they don't have that like weird Halo 5 effect where if the enemy is or a moving item is like too far away, it like rendered in 30 FPS while everything else was in 60. It just kind of looked weird, you know? hopefully they don't have that uh forge we don't know much about but they did mention that vehicles will have uh will behave differently if damaged imagine if you can spawn in a damaged vehicle like a mongoose or a warthog with like missing wheels and you play that one halo custom game where that dude in the middle is sniping uh everybody on the mongoose and warthog and you have to make your uh you have to make your way to the end to grab the sniper to kill that sniper dude People who play custom games know what I'm talking about. Like, just imagine that if you can spawn in like half damaged vehicles with missing wheels and stuff like that. <laughs> it would be hard, but it would be super satisfying once you get to the end. <clears throat> uh, the customization is back. I'm really happy about this because the customization in Halo 5 was, well, disappointing. So seeing them going back to the Halo Reach style with like the Halo 3 Reach Armor direction really makes me happy. Uh, the armor in 4 and 5 all kind of just blended together. Too many of the same helmets with different like rarities and patterns and whatnot. It was kind of like, Ugh! you know, uh, you couldn't customize your shoulders or anything. I'm happy to see them going back to this style of customization. Armor coatings, I was skeptical of these when they first announced them. Like you couldn't choose your Spartan colors anymore. Like no more primary or secondary colors it, it just kind of seemed off to me i think i think it would be better if you were able to choose what color you wanted but the armor would have different patterns like the armor coatings would have different patterns so for example the achilles thing that i'm wearing uh if you notice on the thighs and the legs and the arms they have like this set gold piece that you can't change i think it would just be better if you can customize that color um overall rather than just getting rid of colors in general but from what i've seen the armor coatings seem really dope so i'm kind of curious to see what kind of armor coatings they'll have in like battle passes and stuff and speaking of battle passes the ones in halo infinite do not expire so if you burn yourself out for a bit or you don't want to or, or you want to play another big game that has come out later this year because damn what a year we have uh well you can come back and see like an armor coating that you like and you're like what the where is this from and your buddy's like oh yeah it's from like two season passes ago you can actually go back and buy that season pass and put your progression towards it which is really dope i i, I really like that uh they'll also have limited time events that samurai armor i believe is limited time so it's it's kind of cool they have that like halo 3 recon style but just not as exclusive i'm it makes me happy when they do stuff like that. I, I will try my best to get every single limited time Halo armor ever. Because I, like Halo Infinite looks like it's going to be great, man. And I'm super stoked for it. Maybe they'll add like a 24 hour store, kind of like what Fortnite does. Every 24 hours, just some different coding or armor set or whatever. I wonder if they'll also have like some type of currency where it's like in Fortnite, you have V-Bucks or Warzone, you have COD points. I wonder if they'll have something like that. So like you buy one battle pass and then you can earn that currency and if you complete that battle pass you can just use that currency to buy the next battle pass and so on so you only pay 10 bucks essentially i wonder if they'll have something like that <clears throat> or maybe like an mcc type of deal i don't know the grappling hook i was kind of scared i thought it was going to be like a all the time thing but apparently it's a pickup which is awesome i hope you're able to grab objectives with it like just thinking of being in the back of the razor razor razorback warthog and uh 
just like doing a drive by and like you time it correctly and you could just pull the flag right out of the base without slowing down or anything i think that would be <laughs> It'd be kind of annoying if people get really good at it, but I don't know. I just think it would be kind of funny. Or maybe you can like make the vehicle go by faster if you, you know, you're sitting in the passenger seat, you shoot your grappling hook onto the building and then you pull yourself in as well as everybody in the vehicle and you just get that little speed boost. That'd be kind of dope. Segway! Did you know that you can save 10% off by using code SPOON at checkout at gamersubs.gg and also save 10% by using code SPOON at jinx.com? Well, you can. I just thought I'd, you know, shout that out. Uh, the links are down in the description if you are interested. Now let's get back into talking about Halo Infinite. The overshield and camo. You no longer just walk over it and it automatically activates. You pick it up and you can choose when to use it, which is kind of interesting. And if you don't use it, if you die with it, uh, the other person can pick it up, which is which will be kind of weird. I'm kind of curious to see how the timing will work with that. The AI voices, you pretty much have your own K uh, Katana, hello, <laughs> Cortana in multiplayer. You can, uh, you can have your own AI, uh, voice in your head type of deal. I wonder if they'll have like some celebrities do it like Snoop Dogg from Call of Duty Ghost or Justin Roiland and doing like a Rick and Morty AI or maybe even content creators. <laughs> That'd be, uh. That'd be awesome. You know, I'm just throwing that out there. Three, four, three. I mean, I'm, I'm gladly yell at Spartans. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'll, I'll be, I'll be okay with that. You know, uh, or maybe they'll have some creator codes. Who knows? Big team battle is now 12 v 12. I'm actually really excited for this. Never really played big, big team battle that much, uh, but I might be doing this for the big team battle game nights while everyone's building like their forge maps and forge game modes and stuff. Uh, so we'll probably do some game nights on uh, Halo Infinite on Big Team Battle and we'll be, you know, versing viewers and stuff. It'll be, it'll be a lot of fun. If you want to join in on these game nights, I normally do it on the last Saturday of every month around 8 p.m. Eastern. We have Halo 3 and Halo Reach installed. So if you want to play, make sure you have those installed and we kind of just set voice chat to all and we just have a good time. It runs about for maybe sometimes two hours, maybe sometimes three, depending on how much fun we're having. So if you do want to check that out, be sure to follow me on Twitch. Uh, the training area. Uh, this is actually great. I love when games add the training area so you can get used to how guns shoot and how many bullets it takes. They also added bots, which is really nice. It's really nice to know knowledge. You know what I'm saying? Really happy about that. And last but not least, no more red versus blue. So whatever way you customize your Spartan is the way that you see them. And uh, they have red or blue outlines for allies and enemies. I wonder how that's going to be with uh, some of my buddies who are colorblind. Uh, I wonder if they'll maybe you can customize your HUD to whatever colors you want, to whatever helps, you know, the colorblind folks. Um, maybe go back to the Halo 2 emblem over your teammates heads. I don't know. It just seems kind of kind of it's going to be weird for sure, but I'm actually excited to actually see my actual Spartan, you know, on the field rather than in free for all or a custom game. So I'm really curious to see how well this is going to play out. But um, yeah, don't really have anything else to talk about. But those are my thoughts about Halo Infinite so far. Can't wait. Hopefully I can get into the flight so we can soak up all the goodness from that game. Uh, I think it's my most anticipated game this year. Battlefield 2042 is literally right behind it. Back for Blood, Forza Horizon 5. Woo! So many good games coming out at the end of the year, man. So it's gonna be a gonna be a good year for gaming. Anyway, let me know what you think in the comments, and we can get a discussion going. And uh, we'll see you in Halo. Peace out.